Well, if you've been following along with this series, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. This is the Hungarian AK-63D underfolder kit that we constructed. And uh, for those of you who may have not been following along, there's links to all the different segments in the description of this video. Just to give a quick recap here, uh, the receiver we built from scratch, from scrap metal, and we didn't use a flat or fold it. It was cut up and welded together. And then the trigger, the disconnector, and the hammer inside also constructed from scrap metal. Just for the heck of it, it wasn't to save money. It was to see what could be done. And all of this was with, well, using as basic tools as possible, I guess. It is rough around the edges, but I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it here. I went to my favorite local gun shop last night and found this sling which seems to fit nice. The underfolder works great. It's really stiff, which is good. And you may notice that this top cover here has a band and that's because the receiver I built was evidently about an eighth of an inch longer than a standard receiver so this top cover wouldn't lock into this notch here and it would just flop around and fall off well that's probably not a good thing so I decided to go ahead and cut it into two pieces there and I took a little piece of sheet metal that I just cut out of an old computer case and I used it to weld the two pieces back together at the extended length that I wanted. I think that the Durabake finish goes good with this black nitride barrel. This barrel I bought from Arms of America and I'm really happy with it. Um, I wanted a chrome line barrel but I ended up um, hearing about the black nitride and I decided to try that. And it's pretty cool because um, not only is it a nice durable finish, but it's a black finish like the rest of the gun, so I didn't even bother to paint the barrel. Now for my six 922R compliant parts, those include the receiver, the trigger, the disconnector inside, the hammer inside, this barrel, and then for the flash hider here, I went ahead and got a little lazy at the end, and I just threw on this old um, beat up Tapco one here. So there's my six parts and it's all without um, having to worry about the magazine. So I can slap in any old magazine I want and not have to worry about that. I did have some issues during assembly where basically the bolt carrier wouldn't cycle and the problem ended up being that my top rails of the receiver were pitched a little bit and when it would slide forward the gas piston wanted to be up here a little bit and it was binding on the inside top of the gas tube and that was a pretty easy fix actually I ended up just uh, well beating the crap out of it with a hammer I bludgeoned the top rails until everything seemed to line up and everything cycles fine no problem the dimples, there are none on this receiver. I decided I didn't need them and I wasn't going to bother with them. The magazine, it wobbles very little. Um, compared to my Wasser 10 AK, which the magazine just flops around like crazy. So I think this is going to be just fine. And I test fit it with a variety of magazines and some plastic Tapco ones as well. Everything seems to fit up quite nicely. I have not fired this yet. We're going to do that here in just a minute on camera for the first time. Check it out. I'm happy with the wood, the stock, and the pistol grip. They're in actually really nice condition here. Anyhow, I guess that's enough talking about this. What I've done is I dug into my collection and I found a round of Hungarian 7.62 by 39. I figured it would be the perfect way to christen my first build, a Hungarian AK. 
The head stamp on this is 23 over 73. The 23 indicates Hungarian and 73 is the year of manufacture. So this is 1973 and it is corrosive. All right, well, here it goes. I've got a traditional steel magazine and here's our Hungarian round that I just dropped in the dirt. So I guess that'll be even better. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. That seemed to go that seemed to go okay. I uh, haven't sighted it in or anything, so you know there's not much else to do there. So what I've got now is a Tapco magazine with just with some of the crap herder stuff that we did recently. can see we've you can see we've got a round in there that didn't feed Well, I'd say that that went pretty good as far as that round that didn't feed. I don't know. Uh, I'll just have to run some more rounds through it. I do need to sight it in anyways, so time will tell. But overall, I would have to say that this was a success. Now, onward and upward to bigger and better things. I think that uh, I think I've got some good projects in mind. A little more refined, maybe a little more high-end. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.